never been a moment like the present with so many opportunities. Um, but there's also likely not been a year when that comment would have received so many laughs that obviously doesn't feel right. It actually feels so wrong unless I really think deeply about it. I think of all of the people who I speak to who say things like, life is actually a lot better now that I can use Zoom and not need to go into work. I'm actually less skeptical about this than I am sad. Because I actually like being around people, well, most people, uh, and too much for this to really be true. And when it is said by others, my initial instinct is that they are either engaging in some self-survival methods, they're an extreme introvert, or that the comfort of wearing pajamas daily really is that appealing. I'm just not that impressed by the technology itself either. I feel that if we are distanced, we should be interacting with each other as holograms or something equally sci-fi. But there's a huge problem with the assumption that I only realized once I started to think about what staying at home really means and to what extent businesses often have the responsibility or blame for when it comes to the home experience. To most of us, the opportunity we face in going to work is problematic because of the very nature of most jobs. Work is the necessity to struggle through the day in order to get home so that we are working from home. We're already at our desired work, our destination. The loss of work as being the loss of a job is so real that it becomes a double-edged sword of a troubled economy, especially when troubled by a once-in-a-century pandemic. So I likely have still not cleared my concept of opportunity. I mean, when I do, it sounds like wishful thinking, but there's a good reason to believe that it's actually genuine. Where there is a loss of work and community, there's a void for which we can all build new foundations. In fact, the foundations have already been laid, and for the first time, the awareness of society's failings and humanity's frailties give us a chance to build what we want. We can define what it is that we want and who we want to do it with, and long-lasting partnerships that can be formed or deepened, such as the one I have with my friend Dean Roll. We can invent our future with the tools that previous inventors have used, and we can realize that our community is not the one that our society has told us we fall into, but is instead a community of those that want to build, not those that simply just want to work so they can go home. I, I've been thinking so many of these tweets that came out early in the pandemic, things that said things like, Newton wrote the calculus while in quarantine. Well, this was meant to be encouraged introspection, I found myself in a real place of frustration. No, none of us were in true isolation or hiding like Newton was. We have had the luxury of smartphones and computers. We were using social media and video conferencing apps. I worried that nothing would ever come from the inspiration of time alone as we were working harder than ever and speaking with each other. That is until I realized that we were not just communicating, we were doing it with a foundational technology. We were doing it with hardware that was made around the world and was so complex that nearly no one even understood it. Processors, chips, camera sensors. What we had was not just a way to connect, and the work itself may have actually been the distraction, not the result. What we had was a toolbox. Like my son does now, when I was a kid, I had a toolbox, an actual toolbox. I see what he does with it, which in many ways is similar to what I did. Maybe I look at a table and, and try to build a table myself, or I try to make a sword like the one I saw in a movie. Uh, while this was certainly fun and also a good way to learn, it was also making something of the present from things of the past. Now, now that we have these same tools, we can still use them. But instead of looking at what others do, we can invent for the future. This is a bit of a problem that I have been seeing lately, even as I see all of this hope. As a society and as businesses, we have become complacency with what we have built. 
and what others have built. Uh, talking on Zoom is not much different than talking on Skype was, which is not that much different than speaking on a phone. The tools that we have should be a call to break from the complexity, to learn, and to grow up. This means asking questions like, how do I make what we have now better? It should be acknowledging the company, recognizing the power of our toolboxes and minds, and making the world that we want, not the one that is already here. That's what a business needs to do from the start. It has to be a place to play and to learn and to make things better, but not simply playing for the sole purpose of playing like we used to. Complexity in this is perhaps the wrong way to think about it. While Newton made calculus to make other things, it does not have to be mathematical. It can be artistic, social, or scientific. In fact, I believe that a business should encompass all of those things if we are to be better than we, are, we already are. Those things are a reflection of the dreams of those that work in a community and the dreams that we couldn't before put into action. It's our job to invent opportunities and by allowing dreams to be put into action. We should look at it as a kid with tools to build whatever is interesting as I once did and my son does now. There was no foundational value to it, but I had the tools and I was learning. It was only as I left home that I realized that these same tools could be used to build things that mattered. We now have the same toolbox for Zoom, calling, and texting from our homes to go out into the world and to build. Newton, Newton's calculus alone only matters when it was used to build the modern age. So now that we move towards a different world, we have a chance to do something great with these tools. Someone had already developed them. The next question is how to prepare ourselves to have the tools not only to face pandemics, but to address a complicated world where work will not just be about wages, but about invention, interpersonal collaboration, and rapid iteration. This is something that cannot wait for catastrophe. It's something that has to be in the DNA of a company to begin with. The tools are not designed for a few, but for all, no matter what is built for them. Therefore, inclusion of ideas that same structure to build and a community that has creativity as much as knowledge is required. It is our time to build now and to produce, not just to work. Work needs to be the joy of creation. It is the value in itself.